Welcome to Informatica Cloud. In this demonstration, we'll use Test Data Management, or TDM, to populate a Salesforce sandbox with a masked subset of test data. As you can see, I'm logged into a production Salesforce org. For this scenario, we'll focus on a contact's related information to securely populate an empty sandbox. Let's review the contacts we have. There are quite a few contacts, so let's take a look at the second one in more detail. When looking at the contacts details, we see lots of sensitive information. When we subset, we must ensure that we're masking the sensitive data before populating the sandbox. We see that John Bond belongs to the account Grand Hotels, and John has two cases associated to him. When we subset contact, we should make sure that we're moving the associated account and case records as well. Now let's switch to the typical empty sandbox that would be used for development, testing, or training purposes. As you can see, there are no contacts, and so there are no accounts and no cases as well. Now let's log on to Informatica Cloud to take a look at how we configure a subset and masking task through the data masking application. Let's review a task I've already built called contact with account and case. Informatica Cloud provides an intuitive wizard-based approach to building tasks. On the definition tab, we give the task a name and description. On the second step, we provide information about the source, including the connection and the objects we want to subset. In this example, we've chosen the connection to production and specifically chose the account, contact, and case objects. Before we move on to the next step, there are a few new features that are worth noting. When adding objects, you can choose the objects that you're interested in moving or have the wizard choose them for you. For example, you can choose as little as one object and let TDM find all mandatory related objects, including custom objects. We can also choose from a list of composite objects that are essentially templates of related objects. With one click, Sales targets 14 standard objects and will also bring back custom objects with a mandatory relationship. On the Target tab, we simply choose the connection to the empty Salesforce sandbox. You can either insert or upsert the data, and the task will create a custom column on the target object called DMASK External ID. This is how TDM preserves relationships among object records in the target. On the Data Subset tab, we specify the filter criteria. In this case, we'll move contact information where the last name is equal to bond. On the Masking tab, we have the opportunity to mask sensitive data elements on all selected objects. In this case, we chose a handful of fields on the contact object. Let's review some of the masking rules we've chosen here. For birth date, we chose a random date. Some of the rules have configuration options. Here, we set it to a date between 1970 and 1980. For email, we chose the advanced rule, where we build an email address from the masked first and last name. For the remainder of the fields, we simply chose the appropriate masking rules. Finally, on the schedule tab, we choose the agent and execute the task. From Informatica Cloud, we can monitor the task's progress. And once completed, we can see the details in the activity log. If you recall, there was one contact that belonged to one account and had two cases associated to it, totaling four records. Let's go back to the sandbox to see that the data has been moved. The contact John Bond has obviously been masked, as well as birthday, phones, and email address. In addition to the contact, 
we moved over account and case information and automatically reconciled relationships among these objects. With Informatica Cloud Test Data Management, you can simply and easily subset and mask Force.com applications to ensure that developers and testers have access to accurate and realistic yet secure test data to utilize in their daily tasks.